Sally, I hear something. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Welcome Ooh. to Watch Mojo. <clears throat> today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 scariest banned horror movies. <laughs> this list we'll be looking at horror films slash thrillers that have been banned for various reasons, particularly the high levels of gore and other Hell disturbing no. content. The movies don't need to have stayed banned to qualify on the right. for this list. <clears throat> What's the scariest movie you've ever seen? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Antichrist, France. Danish director Lars von Trier hey. makes movies that feel designed to sadden, What's his name sicken, again? and shock you all at once. Well, on default. And Antichrist might be his crowning achievement in terms of overall disturbing quality. Chaos the film details the harrowing journey taken by a couple after movie? the accidental death of their <clears> son. <throat> we don't blame you if you have to look away or even turn it off. Crying woman is a scheming woman. In 2016, seven years after its release, Antichrist was banned in France due to a court deeming its 16 plus rating too low. Promouvoir, a Catholic traditionalist group, had pressured the court in hopes of having the film reclassified the new movie a more was different. restrictive rating. And I understood that. What up, Alicia? We watched it. Um, top 10 banned Everything horror movies. It used to be beautiful about Eden. It was perhaps hideous. As of yet, there's no indication of Antichrist being re-rated and unbanned in the country. Nothing hurts more than to see the one that you love subjected to mistakes and wrongs. Number nine, The Human Centipede 2. The UK. Oh Australia, my god, get and this fucking movie out if you're of here, bro. What a human centipede it's is a nasty we're bag. not going to explain it here. <clears throat> one digestive system. Is this a perverted film you've been talking about? The second installment in this gross-out trilogy is about a disturbed man who's inspired by the first film to try some unnecessary surgery of his own. Unsurprisingly, the film's graphic content got it banned in multiple countries, with the British Board of Film Classification this initially movie was disallowing dope. its release before it, accepting yo. a cut version. Dad doesn't have to find out. This shit is fucking nasty. <clears throat> The idea of the human centipede of connecting everybody's head into somebody's ass and it's just it's just a fucking nasty thing. There's got to be a fetish. If I'm not mistaken, then they have like <clears throat> they're, <clears throat> they're like nut to butt. I don't <laughs> Damn, <they're> like <clears throat> it was like head to ass or some shit like that. And, and they just had everybody's head in each other's ass and that's just fucking nasty, bro. Yeah, I ain't going to <clears throat> I ain't gonna fucking do that. Now right. we can come back and get it tomorrow when Nine we have the tough. key. A similar situation happened with the Australian Classification Review Board, which also later accepted a recut version. And in New Zealand, the film wasn't shown in theatres due to the controversy in Australia. Hello, this is Mark from USA Actors Management again. Please disregard my earlier message. Uh, fortunately, Ms. Williams and Mr. Kitamura were able to reschedule, and they're really, really excited to come to London for Mr. Tarantino's audition. Sometimes a few minutes of cuts can make all the difference. Oh, hell eight, no. I spit on your grave. Oh, I've never seen this movie. This film, about a woman who's attacked and then gets revenge on her assailants, bears the dubious honor of being called the worst movie of all time what by movie the is late this? great critic Roger Ebert. Forgive me. I don't like movies that have this color picture While to it. While there's debate over the artistic me. and moral value of I Spit on Your Grave, <laughs> it's undeniably a difficult watch. The film's graphic content got no, it banned in many countries, Wait, such seen as this Iceland, movie? Ireland, Norway, China, Singapore, Thailand, and West Germany. It was also banned in Canada until the 90s, as well as for seven years in Australia. You run nothing but bad luck with you! Bad luck! I have no friends now because of you. The original title was Day of... Y'all was waiting for it? <clears throat> if y'all was waiting for it, y'all be the first ones to get killed in this movie. I ain't gonna lie, bro. The woman, which doesn't quite indicate how shocking it truly <clears throat> is. I don't like women giving me orders. Oh, shit. Number seven, Cannibal Holocaust, multiple countries. With a title like this, you know not to choose it for a family movie night. Hey, 
Listen, I, I don't know about this. I think cannibal they eating tonight. people from the Holocaust. An early example is actually of found footage horror, nuts. Cannibal Holocaust that details the search for an American documentary crew that goes missing in the Amazon rainforest. The film sparked intense controversy for its actual depictions of animal deaths and graphic violence. It was so convincing that the director, Ruggiero Diodato, was charged with murder, which what he was later fuck? cleared of. But the film still received bans around the world, including Italy, North Yo, crazy fact, the Poltergeist movie used real human bones, by the way, and I think they found out the girl who was in that scene found out after the scene was shot. Some crazy shit, ain't it? Norway, Australia, New Zealand, and the United States. It's unbelievable. It's, it's horrible. <clears throat> I can't understand the reason for such cruelty. Some of these bans have been lifted, but Cannibal Holocaust remains one of the hardest movies to endure. John, I want this material burned. All of it. Number six, The Last House on the Left. The I realize all I like 1970s movies. No, no. Come on, let's go here. Yeah. We got more important. Hey, have a good night. Director God bless you, Wes Craven was yourself. responsible for two of the most famous horror oh, series shit, of all time. But his career started with a movie so unsettling, it makes those other films look like kid stuff. I think it's crazy. What's crazy? All that blood and violence. I thought you were supposed the to be last the, house on the left came out of, the last they rebooted house on that the shit. left, a horror take on Ingmar Bergman's The Virgin Spring, tells the harrowing story of parents seeking revenge on their daughter's killers. The results are brutal and the film sparked plenty of controversy. In the UK, the British Board of Film Censors declined to give it a certification, resulting in its ban. Goddamn high-class, tight-ass freakos. In 2002, the a modified version of the film earned an 18 <clears throat> certificate, while the uncensored version was released in 2008. We'll stick with Scream, thanks. Number five, Hostel fuck? Part Two. Oh, Hostel was countries. a fucking nutty we movie too. Here. What kind of contract? Anyone who comes to this place cannot live without killing. Some horror movies almost seem I've like seen they're trying yeah, yeah. to convince you to avoid travel. Oh, number one costs. isn't a suburb uh, Serbian. A I thought you said suburban. I'm like, of what? Tourists being tortured overseas, and the nah, second film went even further in terms of depravity. As a result, many countries have been hostile towards Hostel Part Two. Should go straight to the police. Yeah, exactly. Someone should. No, no one should. Eli Roth's sequel has been banned slash censored in multiple Straight up. countries, you watch that fucking including movie? New Zealand, Serbian Germany, film? and Malaysia. Is it really that bad? It's pretty incredible to think it even played oh. in American multiplexes. You think we're sick? Four years later, Hostel Part 3 was released straight <clears throat> to video and attracted far less negative attention. Number four, Salo, or the 120 this is days all in the 70s, of Sodom, some of these movies, some of them. Countries. All things are good. When yeah, I heard that shit. What is it? Trash or Salo is this just is disturbing? Salo is based on a book by the Marquis de Sade, who's <coughs> responsible for the disturbing. term sadism. And that's certainly what happens in director Pier Paolo Pasolini's film about teenagers being tortured in fascist Italy. You poor idiot. You must be stupid to think that death would be so easy. Don't you know that we intend to kill you a thousand times over? until the end of eternity if there could be an end to eternity just hearing about the acts depicted on screen is enough to turn your stomach this explains why the film has been banned in so many countries including australia new zealand and the united kingdom these bans have been lifted but not until decades later while many have praised <coughs> salon as a work of legit cinema others find it more obscene than artistic the bourgeoisie does not recoil from slaughter that's what made me cough <laughs> oh, his teeth was number three, fucked too. A Serbian film, multiple countries. If there was ever three. a horror movie that should come with <clears throat> mandatory therapy for viewers, it's this one. Srećna srpska porodica. Život. <laughs> this film, a Serbian production about the making of a shockingly brutal film, is itself shockingly brutal. And so it's been banned in multiple countries for its sickening content. At different points, the film has been banned in countries such as Australia, Why was New it Zealand, banned? What, Brazil, what and are they Spain. doing? Overall, it's reportedly been banned in 46 countries. <laughs> We're all 
for watching films from different cultures. But if you're looking for a good, clean Serbian film to watch, we recommend choosing something besides a Serbian film. Number two, the Texas Chainsaw. Oh, now I'm good. Multiple countries. Oh shit! That shit. This shit was banned in some countries. I mean, shit. You wearing people's faces. Compared to horror films that came after it, the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre can seem somewhat quaint, but it's still an incredibly effective thriller and caused quite a stir when it was first released. <coughs> oh, that fucking sick me. Contemporary audiences weren't used to seeing violence depicted in such a brutal way, and many countries subsequently banned it. These included Australia, Brazil, France, Ireland, Sweden, and Norway. Not all of these bans have been permanent, and the film is now recognised as a horror classic. Shit. Gonna it might not be the goriest movie on this list, but it's definitely one character. of the scariest. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Oh, that's why you said, okay. Number one, The Exorcist, Malaysia. Oh yeah, this shit definitely had got banned in some countries. You'd like that? Director William Friedkin's film about a young girl's demonic possession was nominated for 10 Oscars Fuck and won me. two, including a Best yeah, Adapted crazy. Screenplay. It also arguably changed horror and movies in general forever. <laughs> The film's graphic content reportedly caused numerous viewers to throw up and pass out. Didn't people there die? were even reports of heart attacks. Various cities in the US and the UK ended up banning the film, but it still became a box office bonanza. The film was even banned in Malaysia. The power of Christ compels you! The power of Christ compels you! The power of Christ compels you! While undoubtedly a great piece of filmmaking, it's certainly not one you want to watch with dinner. Do you I can't watch The Exorcist because the problem is I think of Scary Movie 2. And every time they kept saying the power of the Christ compels you, motherfucker got swatted out with flies. And he had to take a shit. I don't know what it was, but it fucked me up. And I always like laughed. 